I hope folks were able, uh, I, know, I know several of you were able to attend our dew drop on last week, which I, I hope was, was good, answered your questions about scuba diving, getting certified and all that kind of stuff. If not, you can watch it. And just as a reminder, the dew drops are optional. You don't have to do these, but I really encourage you guys to do them if you can. They're meant to be fun. They're not meant to be stuffy. Won't pull any test questions from there, but there might be stuff you can use to answer things or, or use, but they're not mandatory, right? So they're, they're an optional thing. Um, uh, so normally we do them on, on Thursdays at five is what you guys asked. In this case, Harry is just left Santa Monica. And now he's in, um, he's in New Orleans. And so I, we're, I was talking to him last week about scheduling stuff and I'm like, five o'clock. He's like, yeah, five o'clock. Then I realized this weekend, I was like, so just to be clear, I was talking about five o'clock my time. And he was like, mm, that's pretty late for me. How about five o'clock his time? And I was like, okay. So this one's at a special time this Thursday at 3 p.m. So I hope you guys can make it. I know some of you might have class and stuff, um, but uh, this will be really good. So um, in the posting, I put a couple links to um, some of his uh, 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 a documentary he made called The Big Uneasy. It's been 18 years since Hurricane Katrina uh, made landfall. And uh, Harry, uh, you guys mostly know from entertainment, and uh, Simpson, Voice of the Simpsons, and this is Spinal Tap and all that kind of stuff. Uh, um, but uh, how I mostly know him is as a host of what used to be a radio program, now is a radio program podcast uh, that he does every week, and um, a lot of sort of commentary on stuff, and in particular, he's become a, a strong voice for talking about accountability in terms of coastal zone management, in terms of dealing with things like New Orleans in the wake of Katrina. So for those of you that came with me to New Orleans last year, a lot of times he meets with our class. He, we, he couldn't meet with us last, last time because he was in, actually in Santa Monica instead of New Orleans. So, so uh, if you come with us to New Orleans, you get a chance to chat with him. Um, but I, I hope you guys uh, uh, pop on in. And he will, hope, he will uh, pull no punches in terms of what he thinks about things like the Army Corps and different organizations. Um, and so we'll start out with a quick uh, you know, 10 minutes or so of me like, asking him questions and sort of bringing us up to speed. And then we'll open it up for questions. So I, a really, this should be a really fun one, so I hope you guys can attend that. Um, again, it's the same Zoom link. You just go to, I'll, I'll send it out again, but it's just, if you go to our landing page and the do drop in logo, this, this guy in the bottom of our page, just click that and it'll take you to the Zoom. Three o'clock uh, this Thursday. Um, so please do uh, attend, this will be a good one. Um, uh, and then next, I wanna talk about some of our trip logistics. And so um, if you came in late, I just asked you guys, uh, I did an announcement post or just to a link to, to this guy. And so um, I'm going to run through these real quick. And then if you wouldn't mind taking a, a minute or two and just filling this out with your respective thing. And I get things might change, but I'm just trying to get a, a bead for number of bodies going which places. <clears throat> uh, so let me explain what we're talking about here in terms of our upcoming trips, some of our upcoming trips. Um, the first one is actually... Um, uh, this week. So Thursday, instead of meeting for class, we're going to meet in uh, this old compound, uh, a famous Hollywood compound in, off PCH. Uh, so um, I'll, show you, I'll show you the map. But the location is basically, is essentially near Paradise Cove, near where PCH and, and uh, Canaan Doom hit roughly. So it's about a 38 minute drive from here. So I want to know if people need a ride. So we want to try to carpool if we can, because we can't have a million cars in this uh, lot. Um, but we're going to go there to hear from um, folks from the Mountains uh, Recreation and Conservation Authority and the Santa Monica Mountains uh, Conservancy about the history of this uh, organization that works, amongst other things, to buy public lands, protect public lands in the coastal zone, and make them accessible. Um, and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to hear a bit about the history of that and, and some of their, you know, wins and losses and that kind of stuff. So a very practical aspect of coastal management in a very challenging place to do coastal management, which is Malibu. Um, and so that's this Thursday. Um, and so uh, for that, I, I can we can spend more time in detail. But just the, the quick version is um, it's if you Google it, it's about 38 minute drive from here, right? So I believe nobody had a class ahead of time, right? People, people don't have an eight o'clock class. So I'd like you guys to shoot to get there at nine. We'll probably start after nine, but if you guys can shoot to get there, there might be traffic accidents and things like that. That way, 
um, we will have enough time to start, hear from our, our, um, the agency folks, and, and see the site and you know, kind of mull around the site a little bit. And then um, you guys have plenty of time to get back here for any noon classes. Um, so that's, so uh, uh, this guy, <clears throat> well, this, this, is, this is, so essentially this is Canaan Doom Road. Here's PCH. And it is, um, it's, you know, it's a, it's a the location um, was a deal brokered by uh, someone that did, uh, uh, didn't follow the law and then got in trouble and got fined. And so part of the, part of the resolution was to donate this property for um, environmental stewardship and resource management. So it's not, you wouldn't, you wouldn't put a, a headquarters or anything like that. <laughs> In this location, it's up. It's up in a in a um, uh, residential neighborhood kind of thing. Um, uh, but now it's one of our important parks that we have that's accessible to folks that have um, significant physical handicaps. So people that are in wheelchairs that can't get into the Santa Monicas or the trails are are you know difficult for them to navigate. This is a place we can have activities and things like that. But it it, it is a bit logistically challenging, um, and so. Uh, so I, I have a, some directions here. I'll email this to you guys, but just to show you, uh, wait, just to show you, wait, whoops, wrong one. Okay. Um, so this is where we're going. So from school, simplest way is to just, you know, go to PCH and then drive on PCH. A lot of you guys are coming from the valley and places like that. You can just shoot down um, Canaan Road. Um, and uh, this is Thursday. So it's Thursday, yeah. So I want to know. If, so um, I wanted to give us some time, and if people are going to go, I want to see if we could carpool and reduce the footprint, or if people need a ride, uh, uh, you know, so we can get that taken care of. So everybody has an opportunity to get there if they if they don't have a car or or want to do that. Okay, so that's the first one. Uh, uh, the next one is our Central Coast trip. So I think we're locking in on the dates uh, from. Uh, it's going to be October 24th to 26th, and so. More details to come, but let me just explain. Um, this is highly encouraged. If you guys can't make it because of, you know, work issues or or other classes, I get it. Um, and so, uh, what typically we have happen is, you know, many students come for the whole trip, but some students, uh, you know, come for the first two days or or the last two days or whatever, right? So so it's okay to come for just a day or so. We're going to be going and doing events and kind of leapfrogging our way around. And so, but just so to help me with my planning, so I have numbers, I just like to have a, a sense of how you guys are gonna do that. We will have, um, uh, uh, yeah, anyway, I'll just say that. So, so if you guys are, uh, it's a Tuesday through Thursday. So that's another one, I'm just kind of curious if you guys are intending on coming on all the days, one of the days, two of the days, and that'll help me um, in the next week or so lock in some things. Uh, and then next, I wanna get folks registered for the Virtual Island Summit. And again, everybody should register for that, even if you're not really planning on doing it. That way, you just have it as a, as a backup. And then if people, I, I, I've, I've got about eight or so hands, I think, for this one, and about four or five people for WSN. So I'm just, just curious as to where we're thinking about that um, in terms of what, what you're doing. And recall, for these three, you need to do six hours of some conference, right? It could 100% be the virtual. That's totally legit. Um, uh, although just to note, the virtual is like all over the world all the time. So you might do like two hours this day and an hour. You know, it, it might be a mix and match kind of deal. Whereas the other ones, uh, the California Island Symposium and WSN, you're, you know, if you guys were going, that'd be great. But you don't have to go for the whole time. You could go for like a day and get your stuff met. All right. 